my goodness. What wow. is that? Whoa. That might be the best Chinese meat I've ever had. Tip the bingo cards, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Today, we're in Macau. And we're about to try Chinese food. Three Michelin starred Chinese food. I've only ever had takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly, look at that. He's got a torch on it. It's, it's like a torch. subway. What are you talking they about? They make it in front of you. That's not okay. <laughs> that is not at all what's no. going on here. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm know. nervous. I'm just, I'm obvious. just nervous. The last time we ate in a very fancy restaurant, I yeah. nearly got kicked out oh, by the chef. No, what when we ate at literally the best restaurant in the world? Let's not repeat that. We've come back to Macau. Well, I've never been to Macau. That's true. You weren't here on the last I trip. Missed out on meeting Dave Beckham again. Mr. Beckham. We had some Korean food together. Mm -hmm. He said. Korean food's great, but I also need to come back and try local Macanese food. And when Beckham tells you to do something, you do it. <laughs> so here we are. Hello, good evening. Oh, hello. My name is Gray. This is some alcohol to sanitize your hair. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Is that automatic? Yes, it is. Very fancy. Yes. This is amazing. <laughs> wow, I feel like a Jedi. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. I noticed there was oyster on the menu. Oh, is there? Yeah, but uh, but not raw. Okay, good. So you can breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah. I know, I know you have history. Oh, wait. It'd be awesome. the worst to breathe out that sigh of relief and have to take it back. Convenient. Oh, right. my goodness. Whoa. What wow. is that? We have prepared a chilled Hokkaido kegani crab meat with some plum wine jelly on okay. the bottom, and then we top it with caviar. It's smoking. It is, yes. Yeah, okay, okay, sorry. I just thought yeah. we should You're not establish. It. <laughs> that's not. Yeah, no, you, I can see it too, Josh. Okay. <laughs> it's in a crab. Uh, it's in a crab it's head. Crab. Look how jiggly it is on the jelly. I feel like the higher Michelin star you go, the more like creativity. The more jelly. They use. <laughs> more jelly. Do we get the caviar, the crab meat, and the jelly? I'm doing it. All in one? All in one. First bite in Macau. Cheers. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. There's so much going on there. Well, because the plum jelly. The plum jelly is very it's like sweet. A, it's like a dessert. Very sweet. Then the crab actually tastes great. Mmm. Crab is just the caviar. So seafoody, like creamy, salty sea balls. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I enjoyed the second bite a lot more than the first bite. Well, when you knew a bit more what was coming. It's super different, right? Okay, Luke, you need to taste ready, this. I'm Please ready. taste this. Brace yourself. There's a lot going on. I've given you a good amount of jelly as well. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful. It's got no point of reference. Yeah, yeah. there's no point of reference. I've never, I've never tasted anything like that. Those flavors and textures have never come together in my life, ever. You polish that off. That is really good. Presumably you can eat these salad bits as well. Yeah. Oh, that's not, that's the seaweed. Oh, can you eat that bit? You can't, you can't. You can, you can. That's saying no. You can. So next up, Josh, tossed shredded fish maw with truffle. I don't know, I don't know. Is that like the mouth? Fish yeah. maw is actually the bladder of big fishes. Wow, okay. It makes the fish Float. It is rich in collagen, which is good for the skin. It's a soup. It's a soup? Yes. A bladder. Of course. It's not going to be solid. Um, okay. <laughs> sorry, everyone. Luke's <laughs> dying. Okay. You're going to get us kicked out of this are. restaurant. Oh my god. <laughs> is that the more? Yes. That yes. doesn't look like soup. Now that's the soup. Yeah, I figured. Oh, that smells really good. You eat this first, and then you follow with this one. Don't mix it together. Okay. Don't mix it. Like okay. You taste this one, and then you drink soup. Okay, so a bite and then sip, yes. or like finish that and then finish that. You can do that also. Either works. Yes. Okay. But okay. just don't mix the soup together. Don't with pour it. that on there. Yes. All right. Bad idea. All right. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Enjoy your more. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. She's like... She knows. She's like. <laughs> I need to be very clear with this idiot. She's like, do not dip that in that. Whatever you do, don't pour that on that. Let's do this, Josh. Fish bladder. Cheers. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. 
totally not expecting that texture. It's so soft. It's not chewy. It's so soft. It's not like fish though. Look, try this, try this. Look, 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 look. Luke needs to get in on this because this sort I need to share this with somebody. Try right, that. Right here. It's really <laughs> The texture. Ooh. Yeah. It's weird, right? Fascinating. It is like chewy, but soft chewy. Like... Crazy soft. I've never had flavours or textures like mm. this. Halfway between rubbery and buttery. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm, it shouldn't, but because I've eaten it, I know exactly what you're mm. talking about. Like, it's an mm. extremely buttery rubber. Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's all weird. It's really good. Rosemary, do you want to try it? Yeah. You do. You what do you mean you're scared? No, no, it's good, it's good. Just don't think about the fact that it's a bladder. <laughs> 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 it's good, it's really right? good. Next time I go to a fish and chip shop, I'm gonna be like, frickin' fry up the Hit bladder. Hit me with the bladder. Hit me with the bladder. I want the more. I want the bladder. <laughs> All right, Josh. Oh, I'm getting more and more excited. The more yeah, the, every course in, this is yeah. just getting better and better. All right. Deep fried horse head fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baked. Gil Giliad Giliadu Giliadu Gilado Gilado That oyster puffs Oyster puffs yeah. like the cereal No that's what's not a cereal <laughs> What what cereal <laughs> J Dragon Prime Cut Barbecue Iberico Pork Collar Those Hell are yeah. that's like They're lending seven their name words to that I really like together All of those words All of them I know Chinese food also, I thought clearly the chef is drawing influence from different parts of China and it's tastes that I've never come across before. And like to have three Michelin stars, that's crazy. That's the height. The one is if you happen to be near it, it's worth being there. <laughs> Two is it's worth taking a detour. Yeah. Okay. Three is it's worth traveling specifically for that. Joke's on Michelin because we didn't even drive here. We flew. So. <laughs> 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 He'll be rolling in his grave, <laughs> perfectly, literally <laughs> rolling, because he's, literally. Because he's got wheels everywhere. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. I would suggest you take the oyster first, and then the fish, last would be the chashu. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Amazing. Thank you. Do you care to calm down? It's the oyster. Okay. <laughs> This is so cool. You look at the layers in that. Is that pastry? Yeah, it's a baked puff, so that'll be pastry. So it's like an oyster Every croissant. layer is, well. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh. Mmm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That is so mm. good. Mm. What happened to yours? Yours like exploded everywhere. That pastry is incredible. It's got like this oyster sauce all over it. Almost like a Shaolong Bao. And it's slightly soupy. That is the best oyster I've ever had. It's actually nice. Oh, it was really, wow. really cool. <laughs> That crispy puff pastry mm. and the oyster. Wow, that was genuinely incredible. Like I've eaten a lot of dim sum over my life. Thousands of dim sum meals. I think that was maybe my favorite bite of dim sum I've ever had. Wow. Ever? Maybe. That makes me feel kind of bad. Why? Because I've had, I don't know, 10. <laughs> <laughs> and I've raced straight to the top. <laughs> Horse fish. head fish. The skin just looks so crispy. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. We're in the big leagues now. We mm. are in the that's big leagues. That's the best thing so far. This is very clearly fish. Juicy, meaty, beautiful fish, but the what the skin is what like sets it apart from any fish I've ever had. It's beautifully crispy. I know a lot of people are like Mission Star restaurant, oh, the portions are too small and they're not good value or something. But what you're getting there, like that bite of fish, is just unlike anything it's a you unique can get experience. in a restaurant. It's like going to a music concert or some kind of a play or an artistic performance, yeah. right? Every dish that comes out is a work of art. 
except you get to eat it. Yeah. Which is my favorite kind of art, I'm just gonna say. Definitely the best kind the of art. The artist makes Edible it, art. and then you destroy it with your teeth. Yeah, you experience the art through your eyes, through your, like, all the senses. Yeah. All the way in. Three Michelin starred Chasu. I know my dad is gonna watch this video. I'm sorry, Daryl. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be most jealous at this moment. I will just have to fulfill the role of Daryl in this moment. That's a bit weird. Son. Okay. I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, cheers. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> mm. Holy crap. Wow, that's really, that really, is... really good. It's amazing to experience this as a father and son. <laughs> Shut this, up. Is... <laughs> this is a memorable oh moment. Oh my gosh. The last time I was Genuinely this incredible. happy, I think, was the day you were born. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Genuinely, that is amazing. That's the best mouthful we had, Jafal. I'm scared to keep going. There it is. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, that lobster is in an undignified position. <laughs> You'll be having our stir-fried Australian lobster. Stir-fried? Yes, and then they cook it wow. with yellow bell pepper sauce. And you can see some like peppercorns in there. It's okay. a Sichuan peppercorn. It's Ooh. very spicy. I bet this lobster, when it was sat at the bottom of the Australian sea, just minding its own business, yes. it would not have expected to be sat on a plate in that position in Macau. Being like, mate, <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to be here, mate, but I am tasty. <laughs> it's a showstopper, this, right? Yeah, 100%. Mm. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is good. Oh, spicy though, right? It is spicy. Oh, my tongue is going numb. Yeah. Wow, mm. see now, Sichuan spice is such an interesting thing because it feels really spicy for a second. Yeah. And then it's like, oh no, it's not spicy. It's fine. And then your tongue just goes numb. <laughs> Look, have you had Sichuan pepper before? It's not like painful at all. It's just very different feeling. How good is that lobster? I mean, you're just munching through so much lobster meat. It's ridiculous. I'm so concerned about the spicy. Thing. Yeah, you're not even thinking about the taste. This is yeah. so beautiful lobster. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so peculiar. Weird, eh? <laughs> peculiar. Okay, dessert. You'll be having our chilled mango and sago with coconut creams. And then you have to like pop the coconut cream, mix it all together. Pop it. And then enjoy. Wow, and it's got pop a little it. flower. Pop it, pop it like a pimple. Wait, pop, you pop this here. Yeah. And there's gold on this. Whoa, it's full of coconut cream. Again, this looks just like a work of art. It's incredible. Ooh. Oh, so satisfying. Satisfyingly soft, that mango. Ah, you just destroyed your. Well, she, she said to mix it. Like some kind of British stew. <laughs> she said to mix you just it. Just mix it all up in there. Reminiscent of like mango and sticky rice. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. The mango, so fresh, so ripe and soft. The coconut cream, beautifully creamy. Beautiful end to a beautiful meal. Mm. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. Yeah. I've had a lot of Chinese food. That might be the best Chinese meal I've ever had. Tip your bingo cards, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether I've had a meal like this where everything just tastes so otherworldly. It was so fresh and new. Every taste and flavor we had, the combination was really quite eye-opening and just a great experience. Thank you so much for letting us film. It's rare that we can come to a Mission Star restaurant and be as silly and honest as we have been. And in the meantime, we'll see you jolly soon. See you later. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. Seriously. I just want to have that middle course all over again. Yeah.